This is the Adidas X Speedflow 0.1 in one of Messi's signature colorways. But the boot that I have in my hand is very different to the one that Messi wears on feet. In this video, we're going to go through all the different modifications and requests that Messi makes to Adidas for his football boots. Now, the first one is pretty much well known by now because of a few recent releases in the last two or so years and that's the fact that Messi used to wear takedown models of the Adidas F50 tunit range. Now the reason why Messi did this is not really known. My kind of guess is that just based on like later modifications that we see in this video is that Messi is not really a big fan of synthetic football boots and he prefers a boot with a bit more padding and a more authentic leather feel which the takedown models did offer more than the um, top end model with the synthetic upper. Now the next request that we see from the little boy from Rosario Santa Fe Argentina came in the form of the 2013 Adi Zero. Now for this version of the Adi Zero, Messi was handed quite a few signature colorways, but the ones that were sold for retail were very different to the ones that Messi wore on the pitch. That is because they were only available for purchase with a synthetic upper. Since Messi had a preference for this version of the Adi Zero with a leather upper, the boots that he wore of the signature colorways would have a leather upper instead of the synthetic one that was only available commercially. Now, if you guess if the 2013 version of the Adidas Adi Zero was Messi's favorite, you might not be wrong, actually, especially with this next modification. For the 2014 version of the Adidas Adi Zero, it came again in two different uppers, synthetic and leather. But this time around, Messi wasn't even a fan of the leather version. So what Adidas did is that they gave Messi the previous generation of the Adi Zero camouflaged as the 2014 version of the Adi Zero. And this can be clearly seen by the stitching on the toe area. Apart from that, it did use the latest generation's outsole. And just like with the previous generation, Messi's signature color was only available in synthetic for retail, whereas on the pitch, Messi was wearing leather versions of them. In 2015, Adidas gave the little boy from Rosario Santa Fe Argentina his own silo of football boot in the Adidas Messi. So you think if Adidas made a boot just for Messi that would meet all his needs perfectly, right? Right? In contrast, the Adidas Messi 15.1 that Messi was handed was very heavily modified. Firstly, the upper on the ones that Messi wore on the pitch were completely different to the ones on the shelves. The retail version had a leather like dimpled upper, which Adidas called Messi Touch. And ironically, Messi wasn't a fan of Messi Touch. The ones that Messi wore on the pitch had a much smoother texture in compared to the ones on retail. And the plastic chases that you see on the top end version of the retail model is replaced by one that looks similar to that that you see on the takedown model for Messi's ones that he wore on the pitch. My guess is that the plastic chases on the heel made the boot feel a bit more uncomfortable, hence why they used a softer material like they use on the takedowns. The following year, the Messi 16 came out. So you think Adidas will get it right the second time around, right? Right? Well, I would say they were 90% there this time around. But this version of the Adidas Messi had two top end models, the 16 plus pure agility and the 0.1. Messi preferred the 16.1, which did not have a lace cover. And the reasoning behind this is not necessarily confirmed, but based on like previous modifications we've seen, I guess Messi just prefers a more traditional feeling football boot. After the Adidas Messi line was discontinued, Messi switched to the Adidas Nemesis. Now for all three versions of the Nemesis, the little boy from Rosario Santa Fe Argentina pretty much got the same modifications on each boot. Like on the Adidas Messi 16, Messi preferred the laced version to the laceless version. Messi would also get the upper material replaced with something which was much more leather-like and thicker as well as being provided with a much more cushioned heel area. Now the most unusual modification on all the three Nemesis that Messi got was the tongue area. By this time most football boots were being made with one piece uppers but the little boy from Rosario Santa Fe Argentina had different ideas. Adidas had Messi split open the tongue area in what many people refer to as the burrito tongue which essentially was just a more eccentric version of the tongue area that you see on the Adidas Copa 19.1 and 20.1. Again, the reason as to why Messi did this was unknown, but based on like the previous modifications that he's made, I'm guessing it's so the boot feels a bit more traditional. Now on to the current silo that Messi wears. In the summer of 2021, before the Copa America, Messi switched to the Adidas X silo. Now since then, Messi has won the, both the Speed Portal and the Speed Flow. But the modification that Messi got on both boots, again, is similar like the Nemesis, but it's probably most well seen on his most recent pair he wore at the World Cup in the Leander. Just like with previous modifications, Messi got the upper replaced with a more leather-like material, 
which is actually very visible on the Leander as you can actually see the stitching which is not actually visible on the retail version. Adidas also provided Messi with a much more plush and cushioned heel area and again we see the burrito time make another appearance. And that's been it for the video guys, let me know which modifications you knew about, which ones you didn't know about, which one's your favourite modification, please all write them down in the comments. If you thought the video was sublime, like the video. If you thought the video was support, still like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Once again, my name is Sub, this has been Sub Sounds Thank you all for watching, peace out.